Right then, not many videos today. This is first day still. I've managed to book into my hotel room. Nice little room, nice view of that hill. No bath though, it was just a shower. Um, so that's a shame. I might ask them if they've got a bath. They might have one there, you might be able to sort of book one. Yeah, it's okay. A lot of money for what you get, but there is a breakfast in the morning and everything. I'm having breakfast. Don't feel hungry at the moment. I ate a, a pasty. Filled me right up. Must me dinner. Got to keep busy now. There's a telly in the room. That's the walk I'll be doing. See that? Well, that is the road, but there's a path as well that you've got to get on. But you see that further down, see that track there? That's the sort of thing, I think I've, it's part track, part road. A bit more track there, look. That's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Got to do it. Got to be done. The thing is, when you come away on your own, and there's lots and lots of people, see, normally, it wouldn't be so packed, it's because it's, it's COVID and no one's working, no one's at school. Normally it'd be quiet in on a Monday here. Quieter, put it that way, when the kids are at school. So, but yeah, like I say, you do stick out like a bit like a sore thumb, or you feel you do. Because you're on your own. I'm looking to see if there's a way up here. Somebody told me there is. It could be here. Before I do it though, I'm going to walk to the end. Then I'll go up there if, if, if that's the way up. I'll go up that. But I'm going to go to the end first. So yeah, I'm alright. I always have the this experience when I come on my own um, because basically you feel you can feel we're made to feel a bit odd because you're by yourself I'm just going to the end and then I'm going to turn back and go on that road there There's lots and lots of people about. I've got to get to the Poet's Shelter and the Valley of the Rocks. It's got to be done today. Going back in a minute. We just, uh, it is quite nippy. I'm glad I brought my coat and my jumper with me. There we go. God, it's warm in the sun. So I'll be going back up that path in a minute. Just having another view from here. Come down that other route later. It's easier coming down, isn't it? Got to do one climb today. Like I said, that's my that's my mission tomorrow up there. That's one of the missions. Over and out. Right. I'm doing a zigzag path. My rucksack is much, much lighter. Now, it was so heavy today, I've got to see how I can repack it. It was, it was so heavy, I thought I had my shoes in there. And I didn't, I didn't bring the shoes, it was dead heavy. It was very strange. It was, it was heavier really than when I had the tent in it. It was very strange. Wait a bloody ton. 
These are pretty little flowers, aren't they? See, this is why you've got to do this walk this time of year. Because it doesn't get dark till say nine o'clock. So in theory I've got six hours. I don't really want to do six hours. I want to, but I don't want to be sat in a hotel room. So I'm having the extra day. I will need it after tomorrow. I do want a day where I'm just pottering. I'm just pottering. So tomorrow we go. We go. Oh, sorry, I'm talking to me video. Wait a minute. We uh, turn it past me. So I had to stop the video. Now that parsley's laying heavy on my stomach now. They've just said, very hilly, best of luck. I mean, you don't get any positive, do you? Like, oh, there's some lovely trees up there. I know what my, I know what hilly is. Well, I've done um, Colbone to County Gate. But maybe my challenge hasn't hit me yet. Maybe they know the quick way you come down this way. You get the train up. Right, hold on a minute. Yeah, what I've got on my back now is roughly what I'll be carrying tomorrow, except there will be another bottle of water. But the thing is, there's a church at the top of the hill, and I should be able to get water from there. This has got to be done though. Oh, that helps you get up. Well, I mean, I've had a long day to put my. I'm probably been doing the worst route, probably, knowing me. I always manage to do the worst route. Everyone else just went up North Hill, right? Not she there. Uh, I didn't want to get on that thing with all those people. It looked like you have to wait an hour. I saw some very tired hikers, some young ones. They might have just come from Porlock, see? Remembering that. Though I didn't walk all the way to Lymouth, I got to County Gate and had to walk all the way back. So basically, it was about the same. <sighs> Except it was a bit easier on the way back. I went across the fields. <sighs> oh, this is where it's a meander, isn't it? Slowly going up. I expect that was a way up once. In through there. Somebody's private garden, you can tell by the laurels. Right folks, I'm gonna turn off for a minute when I get further up the hill. So this is Sheila on the 20th of July 2020. Over at Linmouth and Linton, having a good four days of walking. This is the warm-up tonight, and then the big hike tomorrow. My mission tomorrow, if I don't do it all on, on tomorrow, is 
to get to Orr at least. I want to get to Orr. Gonna have a big breakfast, which isn't a good idea. I don't normally eat fried. I think we can't have it in the evening, is it? That you can't say, can I have it for the for my evening meal, breakfast? I'd love it on the way home. It's going to be heavy on my stomach. Right, turn off, Sheila. Turn off. Lots of short videos. Just met some people thinking it would be quiet and then they bump into me videoing. <laughs> and I said, oh yeah, I thought it was quiet as well. Anyway, this is a junction point. And uh, once upon a time there would have been a path that way, look. But because of erosion, no more. So we're, we're doing zigzagging. Zigzagging is good. It takes the pressure off doing a big steep climb. Now, I reckon we bear right, don't you? So if you look over there, you can just p find the the lighthouse of um, four, Foreland Point. Let me just zoom in. I think there was some the only thing I was thinking about that room is that uh, I hope I'm not going to get problems from the pesticide that they've they've sprayed it and I'm a bit worried about that to be quite honest the root, even the window wasn't open so you can't see it clearly but there's a lighthouse there nestled into the side of that big hill Yeah, I mean, it could give me arrhythmia. Basically, that was, uh, if they're using a strong spray, which I think they are, then I think that's very not very good for me, to be quite honest. I'm a bit worried about that. <sighs> Just got a little flutter then. And um, chemicals can do that to me, not the walking. Chemicals. I'm recording this in case anything just happened to me. Right, up, because I'm taking a nice steady climb. Although that looks awful going up there, it's actually steady. I think it'd be a lot dodgier coming down, it's very wet. There was a lot of rain up the other night. I won't be coming back this, I'd like to do a circular. I'm hoping I'm going to turn up at the same place. <laughs> I think I will. I only have to ask those people, really. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. The chemical that they've used to spray the room with. <sighs> I don't think they're going to tell anyone. That's my only worry about that. Okay, and turn it off again. Right then, that might be the way back later. I might be a route at the top. Here's a another small video. I had to change the battery because uh, the other camera's broken-ish at the moment. I've um, taken the battery out of that, and I'm now charging that one up. So it's easier than having to carry the battery charger. I mean, I am carrying it in my bag. But uh, there we go, keep focusing on that Foreland Point because that's where I'll be going tomorrow, heading for that. In, in a bit there will be a church, Countersbury Church, there's Countersbury over there you see. But look how far I've come, and who would have thought it? And this is the coastal path. I seen a bloke walking along here the other day on video, he's doing this but it's a sheer drop down there you know. Down there, sheer drop. 
<sighs> they got seats every now and again. have a hole in the wall somewhere in Lymouth, I would have thought. There must be a hole in the wall somewhere. I see someone on a dinghy, maybe a fisherman. Let me zoom in. Can you wait till I get my next camera? Three times more powerful than this one. There's people either going out to sea or fishing or just being taken on a tour. You have to wrap up real well to go on those trips because uh, when you're, I've done a couple of boat trips, you really got to be prepared for cold wind. I'm keeping close here because I've got a bit of falling over my own feet. So I'm keeping to this edge here. I don't trust myself. I've slipped a few times in the past. There's me. Hi. There's Sheila. Look at that lovely view everyone. I'm here. I've been planning this and I've not actually got here now. It's good, isn't it? Western will be right, 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 right around the corner there. Cool, I've got here everyone. I'm so pleased. So pleased to have got here. 